We are just weeks away from our favorite time of the year. That's right, folks. In just a few weeks, the 2024 Hershey RV Show in Pennsylvania is going to kick off. And John and I cannot wait to see all of the new 2025 designs in the latest RVs. Quick break from our video. So at this point, you may be wondering why we are talking about an RV show, especially with our most recent videos where we talked about the poor quality that we've seen in the industry. Hey, we still love RV. We most definitely <laughs> do. But the other thing is, we believe in giving people the information they need to make the right decision for them. And maybe you're handy and you find something that's not so bad. I mean, there are some pretty good units that come out. And look, we love RVing. We love yeah. looking at RVs, even though we may not be, we may not buy an RV <laughs> at this point in time. Yeah, maybe not right now, but we plan to maybe trade up or trade over, whatever you want to call it. To a nice used model. Uh, perhaps, yes. And the other thing is, there are lots of things at the RV show. It will help you to get an idea, especially if you're new to RVing or you're just starting to get into it of what it is you like, but not only that, I love the seminars. Oh yes. I love meeting the people. I love doing the tours and helping others. And so we're going for it. Uh oh, there's a bee. Let's get back to the other video. <laughs> Now you're going to want to stay to the end of this video because we have lots of good tips to give you for this show and you're not going to want to miss them. Now, as usual, the Hershey RV show is being held at the Giant Center in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And the address is 550 West Hershey Park Drive. And that's in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And yes, is right in the same location as Hershey Park. That's right. And parking for this event is absolutely free. Which is great, except for Saturday and Sunday when Hershey Park is open. For those days, you will have to park in Longmead Field, which is across the street from Hershey Park. There will be shuttle service provided to help get you to the gate. You can bring your RV and dry camp at Hershey. Dry camping is $60 per night and $10 for any vehicle you tow. Just keep in mind that there are absolutely no services. Dry camping is available Tuesday, September 12th and closes on Monday, September 18th at 10 a.m. Reservations are not accepted, so it's first come, first serve. So if you arrive after 7 p.m., you will not be allowed to go to a spot in the dry camping area. You will have to park in an overflow area and then wait until 7 a.m. to be checked in. Generators are allowed and quiet hours are from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. Now let's talk about pricing. The pricing for the show has stayed the same for the last two years. Hey, something that hasn't gone up with inflation. <laughs> Holy that's, cow! That's I'm there. True. I know. Wednesday through Friday is $12 in advance, $14 the day of the show. Saturday is $17 in advance and $19 the day of the show. Children under 12 are free. Ah, you forgot Sunday. Yeah, Sunday's a deal. Sunday is $8, $10 day of. We'll start with our first tip right now, and that is you want to arrive to the show either early or later in the afternoon. If you get there early, there's less of a crowd and it's easier to get through the gates and security. If you come later in the day, then you can buy what's called the Twilight Pass, which is only $7 if you arrive after 3 p.m. There's also a three-day pass for Wednesday through Friday only, and that's $25 in advance, $30 Day of. Now, what makes a three-day pass so good is that there are over 1,500 RVs at this show, and one day is not enough time, especially if you're looking to buy an RV. So getting the three-day pass really allows you to take your time, sit in the RV, and we always recommend that if you're buying an RV that you have to stay in it for at least an hour when you're first looking at it, see how comfortable it is. Sit on the couches. What is it like watching the television? And we have a whole video that we did on how to choose the right RV for you. And I'll put that up here. And you'll also want to watch us at the show because we're going to be doing lots of live streams. And during those live streams, we're also going to show you how to avoid buying a lemon at the RV show. So give yourself plenty of time to negotiate, experience the RV, 
Make sure that it actually fits your needs. That three-day pass is a steal. It's really worth it. It is worth it. Something we should also mention about these tickets is that you cannot buy tickets at the door. Tickets must be purchased in advance. And when you get to the door, you can show them the email with your ticket. Now, John, I really love the fact that the Hershey Show, they always have special discounts. The first discount they're giving on Wednesday is for healthcare workers, and all you need is a valid healthcare worker ID. And the cost for that is $7 in advance and $9 on the day of the show. They also have special senior discounts, and they consider seniors as hard as it is for me to accept, to be 55 and plus. So if you are 55 and older, you are a senior for the Hershey RV show, good for you, you get a discount. <laughs> and finally, veterans and first responders get a discount on Friday and it, it's $7 in advance, $9 on the day of the show. You have to have a valid veterans ID or active duty ID card. However, you can also show a picture in uniform, show a, an LES or, or show that you belong to some sort of a veterans organization and that will get you in. The show would prefer that you keep your furry friends at home or make arrangements for them. But if you do feel the need to bring them, they must be in a pet stroller. I love the pets. I know you do. If you see me, please let me pet your pet. So where can you stay if you're not going to dry camp? Well, there are lots of campgrounds in the area. The closest one is located on Sweet Street, and that is Hershey Park Camping Resort. We usually stay there when we're going to the show because it's less than a five to 10 minute drive. Well, maybe it's closer to 10 when the, with the traffic. With the traffic. If you leave early, it's not much traffic. But not only is it a quick drive, but there's also a shuttle service from the campground to the show so that you don't have to worry about driving and parking. In addition to the Hershey Park Camping Resort, there are a few other campgrounds in the area. There is the Hershey Road Campground, which is 7.6 miles away. And then there's no, they, ha they don't have a shuttle going to the show though, so please keep that in mind. And then there is the Jonestown KOA, which is 19 miles away. There, there are designated handicap parking areas, so be sure to check the map to find out where those are. There is also an app that you can download from the App Store or from the Android Store. Just look for America's Largest RV Show and the app will come up. It's really easy to use. It's really great because you can have a map that shows you all of the vendors and also shows you all of the manufacturers so that you know exactly where you go. It is a very, very large show and you'll find that uh, the RVs you might want to see uh, will be halfway across the parking lot. Which brings us to our next tip. Make sure you wear very comfortable shoes and very comfortable clothing because you will be doing lots of walking. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about, and this is a really big thing, this is why I like the Hershey RV Show and the Florida RV Super Show. These are shows where the RV manufacturers participate. This is very unique. Usually when you go to buy an RV, the dealer is the one that is representing the RV. And dealers cover many different types of RVs, many different brands of RVs. And they do not, as much as they may think they do, they do not know everything that there is to know about RVs. So I highly recommend that if there is a model that you're interested in and you have questions that you ask the manufacturer rep. And if you can't find the manufacturer rep, ask the dealership representing the manufacturer for the particular brand you're looking at where the manufacturer rep is. They are the ones that you want to go to to ask questions. We have gotten so much great information from the manufacturers. They share what's in the current model, what makes it different from the previous model. You can find out information about what's coming down the line, if there are any additional changes that they're planning to make, if there are new models that they're planning to make, if their floor plan doesn't meet your needs, you can talk to them. Sometimes they have some models that they know about that other people may not know about, and they can share that with you. We've always had really good experience experiences talking with the representatives from the manufacturer versus going directly to the salesman. That's what I meant to say before versus going to the salesman. The salesman, they cover many different brands, many different manufacturers and models. And it's 
they're, they don't know everything about all of those models. No, they don't. The manufacturer rep, they, they know how these things are built. They know what's in them. They know what certain things are that you might look at and say, what in the world is this new mm -hmm. thing that I don't know about? And usually the salesmen are not really sure. Yeah. So a couple more tips about the show. It's going to be really important when you go there to know about pricing. Now, these are very strange times, right? We're in a period of a lot of economic uncertainty. RV is a very expensive purchase. It's a rapidly depreciating asset. So you want to make sure that you can get the best deal possible when you go to the show. We encourage you to research, research, research. We say this in every video. When you get to the show, you should know how much that you can deduct from the price that is being offered on any RV that you're looking at or that you're interested in. Right. A good way to get started is go ahead and see what kind of sales are being offered on dealership sites. Go to General RV, go to Lazy Days, go to, go to Bish's RV and look and see what type of discounts they're offering. Right now, we're seeing discounts that are being advertised that are between 35 and 50% on some RVs. So make sure that you're prepared and that you know. And in addition to that, you also wanna make sure that you have a very good understanding of financing. If any of you watched the video when we took my brother and sister-in-law to the Hershey RV show last year, it was such a disappointment because of the crazy interest rates that they wanted to offer them. Yeah, yeah. And I do not believe that the things that they, there were other issues too with, with, with that dealership, which we won't go into here, but feel free to watch that video. You can find it in one of our playlists. I think that if they had been better prepared when they're financing, if they had been pre-approved or had had more information about how the whole financing process works, they would have been in better shape. And one of the things that we're doing, if you're not subscribed to our channel and if you don't have notifications turned on, you're going to want to do this, especially if you're planning to buy a new RV. We have invited a special guest to come to one of our Wednesday workshops who is an insider when it comes to financing. She knows everything there is to know about financing. And so we've invited her to come. If you're going to the show, please make sure that you join us for that workshop Wednesday. I should have a community post out about it sometime next week. And you are definitely want to be a part of this live stream so that you can ask any questions that you may have about the process. Everything you said about shopping for an RV works if someone's going to buy. But the show is also great if you have no idea what you want yet. That's true. It would have been really, we bought in 2021. And so we didn't, there weren't a lot of models out there for us to go see. It would have been great to have an RV show because you see these different pours on YouTube and you go to the websites, but it doesn't really give you a feel of what the RV is really like. So it's just a lot of fun to just go look at the RVs, try different things out, see what might be a good fit for you, see what... I mean, some people don't, have never even looked at an RV before. No, you know? this so, is your opportunity to actually climb in there and see the difference physically between a trailer and a fifth wheel and a Class A and a Class C. Yeah, and you know, there are really only two shows that have this many RVs. It's the Hershey RV show, and then there is the Florida RV Super Show, which is in Tampa. Those are the two shows where you just get to see a ton, a ton of RVs. So, yeah. And usually all the latest things. Now, that being said... They do sneak a few of the current model year vehicles in there. So you have to be a little careful about that. That's a good point, John. One thing that we've noticed in the past year, um, especially we saw this in Tampa as well, yeah. is that at the RV show, they'll have on display the previous year's models because those are the models they really want to get rid of, right? Because an RV dealership, is paying to have those models sitting on their lot. So it gives you really good negotiating power 
But on the other hand, you want to be really careful that what you're, you think you're getting, you're actually getting. So if you're looking for a 2025, you really want to make sure that what they have there that you're looking at is a 2025. And we did find one that was listed last year as a 24, and it turned out it wasn't. It wasn't. If you decide you want to get a previous year model, and you know, right now, John and I have seen some things with the quality of RVs, and we're going to take a look at the 2025s and see if there's been any improvement. And that's one of the reasons why we're so excited to go. But if you talk to a dealership and they say, we have a 2024, we have a 2023 that we'd like for you to come see, it's great, right? Ask the salesman for the maintenance records on that RV, especially if you're looking to get a motorhome, because the worst thing for a motorhome, for any engine, I don't care if it's a gas engine, if it's a diesel engine, is for that engine to sit. And if that engine has been sitting and they haven't been moving it around and driving it, you're going to want to stay away from that RV. A few things you should know about the show. In addition to the discounts that you might get in the show, uh, if you talk to a manufacturer for the model that you're interested in, they might be able to kick in a little extra money. Oh, that's right. For your sale. We had that happen with us. We did. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, there are RVs at the show that are available to be driven. Not every make and model, but each manufacturer will have some RVs with the exception of towables. You can't take that out to drive, I don't think. But you can you can take out um, the motorized for, for test drives. I don't know what they do for towables. Well, they'll have a separate section also. They'll take a golf cart, send you over there, and they have a limited selection. So you'll have to ask which particular RV is available to drive. It may not be one you're interested in. That's true. You might be a, interested in a, a diesel pusher, let's say, for example, like a certain model of a Frontier, and they may not have that model there, but they might have another one with the same engine yes. and the same chassis that you can take out so it will have a yeah. very similar feel. So you can just kind of see what it would be like. Exactly. They do accept R, RV trade-ins at the show. So if you have your RV with you, it, salesmen will come and take a look at your RV and evaluate it for a trade-in. And I think that last year, Good Sam was out there and they were doing evaluations on RVs Definitely were. as well. I always say, do your own research on that. So it's good for you to, before you do that, have an idea of what your RV is worth. In addition to having RVs, one of the things I really like, and we're going to be attending some of these, is that the Hershey RV Show also has seminars. You love the seminars. I love the seminars because I always learn. Look, you can never know too much about something, right? I yeah. always learn every time I go to one of these seminars. And this year, there's a seminar that I am definitely attending about properly matching trucks to fifth wheels and trailers because John and I are thinking about maybe, <laughs> you know, getting rid of the motorized, getting a fifth wheel. And I think this would be a really good seminar to attend. And then I, I want to go to the one on an RV, RVing Alaska, and then there's another one on re retirement RVing, and then there's one on choosing a home base, and there's beginner guides. There's a there's a there's a there's a seminar on how to drive, uh, RV driving safety tips. I mean, there's one on electricity. There's just so many different seminars and so much that you can learn. Like here, Camp Champ RV holding tank maintenance. There you go. Keep those smells down. Keep them down. Fall in love with your RV again. I don't know if that's possible for me, but we'll oh see, you know? Gosh. Finally, there also have plenty of vendors. I mean, any thing that you're looking for for your RV, you can find at these shows. Water okay. filtration systems, uh, power systems, uh, just just you name it. I mean, decorations. That's right. Flagpoles, signs. Flagpole. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so there are just so many vendors. It, it takes it takes like half a day just to go to all the vendors. Yes, yes. It and, does. and then try not to spend all of your money. Oh, that's like hard. We are really excited about this show. We will be there. If you see us touring RVs, please don't have to hesitate to stop us and say hello. We always love saying hello. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. What? There is one more thing that they have at this year's show that is different from the previous shows 
This year, you can meet some of your favorite influencers. Oh, that's right. Yes. If you go to the website, which is largestrvshow.com, and you select learn and go down to influencer meet and greets, you will find the schedules for your favorite influencers. And if you want to see just a concise list of who's going to be there, there, the link below that says meet the influencers. Yep. So, and so, some of our favorite RV YouTubers are going to be there and we're definitely going to stop by and oh, say yeah. hello and we'll meet them. Hi. That's it for this video. Check out this video about RV buying. Yes, right here. Right here.